Hello and welcome to a new episode of Project Utopia. In our previous video, the world how it is, the society, the new society that is essentially the snowflake generation, where you cannot say anything without offending someone. So this in this video, which I think is a very important one, I wanted to touch on the social and more personal individual side of this whole snowflake generation debate because I've been able to experience both an international community and a homogenous community and I want to share the kind of what I've seen so my life I've been extremely lucky I was able to live in the Middle East for two years where I experienced many different things, many different people. And then I moved to Thailand where I lived there for five years, which you know, was amazing. I met lovely people, friends for life and everything from all over the world, Bangladesh, Sweden, Indonesia, Australia, Thailand, Germany, all sorts. What this did to me was create uh, international character, one who was able to freely talk about different topics without fear of judgment or backlash. In some ways you could even say it was a social maturity that I experienced when you mix with different people of different ethnicities, gender, race. So what happened was, and I believe this is the same as I speak for everyone who is was in that international community, that we were simply able to talk about what might be considered social taboos, simply because we were this advanced international character that we had developed because we had all these experiences. And we, as uh, a group, helped the community and did many projects with the community, uh, such as helping a daycare center, um, raising money for various charities, helping refugees um, of different um, places, and um, teaching local people. So altogether, a very, liberal, international, um, freeing lifestyle, I would say, a, a, a s small society which embodied what one community meant, um, in that all these different people from all these different backgrounds came together in a friendship and a small community which helped everyone fed off of each other and made us into a mature social person. Now, contrast that when coming to the UK and I saw large differences between this international community and this homogenized community, because what I saw was a lack of cultural integration between these people who had primarily grown up with white British friends, you know, and this kind of island mentality um, prevailed on them. Because as I remember from my schooling um, when I was here, 90% of the people in my year group or in the school were white British locals. Now I know obviously different places vary. In London there's a much more mixed um, multi-faith, multi-ethnicity, whereas in, pl in other places there's less. But altogether what I saw was that instead of developing this mature social character, this international community and this kind of advanced characteristics um, that I explained earlier, you got this homogenous identity where there was this mass avoidance of any topic which could have caused backlash um, 
and this is where the problem lies because if I was to look at myself before I see a free liberal person who helped the community helped different um, ethnicities um, different people who was all accepting and all these characteristics have continued on with me however the perception of me has definitely changed because what was someone who was labelled as a liberal community member has now been seen as someone who is controversial who is almost conservative in and traditional in the way that they are seen and perceived and almost in a way closed-minded which is the furthest and opposite thing of this whole one community that I'd been brought up with where does this change lie and the answer is in the perception by the homogenous community because they shy away from any potential backlash any controversial topic or even any topic that contains ethnicity or race religion anything like that because they shy away from those things you get a very polarized perception and thought process which means that if anyone such as myself was to mention the word African or gay or homosexual or um, Islam you suddenly get a bombardment of people throwing around words like homophobic, Islamophobic, racist and sexist whereas the things that you're saying are most probably not those things and I've had many examples of times where I've said something maybe a statement maybe even a question um, and people which isn't racist which isn't sexist but people have bombarded me with that perception and hence created this character of you know being controversial and being someone who is very risky but in the wrong way of course we talked about how the media itself should be more controversial and more pushing of the boundaries but this was a character who is almost going over the line in what they say however they weren't going over the line of course I'm talking about myself in the third person now there are um, there are many examples that I can use of times where people have thrown around that I have been homophobic, racist, sexist, anything like that, and I can easily refute all and any of them. But what I see is that things which are socially acceptable in the international community, in the multi-ethnic, multi-race, multi-religion community, are avoided and almost again brushed under the rug when you visit a homogenized community such as this one and it's very upsetting and distressing as someone who you know has prided themselves on the fact that they are such a you know, a willing part of uh, this international community and has done many things to help that community. So, what has to change? Well, people need to start realizing the definitions of these words homophobic, Islamophobic, racist, sexist, things like that. Because what they don't understand is that to be called a homophobe, an Islamophobe or to be a racist is to project hatred 
and anger and aggression onto that demographic, which we said in the last video. But what we see is that if there is any mention of race, any mention of sexuality, people immediately throw out these words meaninglessly and label these people, whereas they shouldn't. What they should actually do is realize and separate the difference between talking about ethnicity, talking about religion, and separating that with people who are projecting hatred upon religion, upon race. And only then are you able to create this international mature mindset, this community of people who can talk about issues, uh, talk about religion, talk about race, in a way that there is no fear of backlash. And this is why we have these massive problems, especially in the UK. It's because no one can say anything without someone else taking offence, even when it's not offensive. And it's deeply distressing that this community, this homogenized community that lacks cultural integration has become this way because although we define a country by its economics, its politics, things like that, its society and its social understandings and social community is extremely important and this is why things like the snowflake community has been created is because people are too afraid to address these problems and will freely throw around accusations of homophobia and Islamophobia and racism and sexism without any evidence at all. People who say things, statements, questions which aren't a joke, which aren't aggressive, which aren't harmful in any way are being labelled as these things and it has to stop. Thank you for watching. Join us next time.